YouTube, what is going on? My name is Kevin, AKA The Tech Ninja. And this right here is my Nexus 4 and how I have it set up. I'm gonna touch up on everything just a little bit so you guys have an idea of how I have my phone set up. A lot of people like to ask me which widgets am I running, what ROM am I running, and things like that. So I will cover everything right now. As you can see by the boot screen, I am running Paranoid Android uh, 3.0, which is uh, 4.2. Dot two at this time, so it's the latest version of Android. And on my lock screen, I'm running Desk Lock, which is a uh, open source lock screen software. Well, it's really a widget, but it's used mainly on lock screens. And you can see right here that uh, it has time, it has a battery, and it has next alarm. You can adjust these settings on the fly. So let me let me show you. So if you swipe your thumb down. It expands it out so you can see everything right here and there's a little gear shift in the top right corner. If you push that it allows you to adjust all the settings and, and things like that. So right now I have it set up to show weather, appointment, battery, missed calls, and next alarm. Obviously I don't have all the notifications up right now so you can't see everything but it's there. Um, now once I unlock my phone it takes me straight to my home screen. Now the widget I have at the very top is the Google Now widget and uh, I really like this widget a lot because it's really in real time kind of what you need to see right then and there that's why I really prefer this widget I, I did a Google search for Marshalls because I was going to go and get a new shirt and uh, now it has you know nine minutes away from Marshalls it has the weather of where I live at right now and the weather for the next two days so I really like this widget a lot also if you push on it it takes you straight to Google Now obviously See, so below it is missed it, which is a reminder widget when you have missed notifications. So you push on here, and it basically shows you what you have. I have one Gmail and two text messages that I haven't read yet. You can actually have it notify you for different reasons, not just these three applications. You can set it up for any application that gives off a notification. You can say, hey, I have an extra article I didn't read on Pulse yet, so then it can bring it in like that. If I go to the right here, I have Beyond Pod, which goes out and grabs the latest audio files or the latest uh, videos that you may uh, subscribe to. In the middle, I have Cloud Search, which is a search that searches your Gmail, your text messages, your Twitter, and everything for a certain term. So right now, when I was at Marshall's, I typed in shirt size because an email two years ago, I told someone my shirt size. And I was able to look it up and find out what it was. And down here is just uh, Google Play Music blank screen on the right side left side is just um, this is Falcon Pro widget which is uh, the Twitter application that I use the icons are MUI minimalistic icon set and uh, it's just a really clean looking icon set it's 99 cents I usually don't pay for icons but these icons look really really good uh, this is one weather which is a uh, nice minimalistic approach to weather It's very clean and it gets the job done so it's exactly what I want in a weather application that's it so it just shows this really clean really nice looking and it gives you notifications on certain weather changes of things that may concern you right here is Astrid you should know what Astrid is is a reminder gallery pulse pulse is a news uh, aggregator where you subscribe to news feeds it does not fetch new news there they have a few things in there you can now subscribe to where they kind of bring in new news for you, um, but that's Pulse. And this is Tapatalk, which is the forms application for your devices where you can view website forms easier and more efficiently. And a calculator, I always need to do some calculations on the fly. My phone, I have this right here, which is the, the, the T9 Finder. I'll get over that in just a few moments here. I have my app drawer, and I have these two folders. Um, this first folder just does Google, Google Plus, Talk, and Voice. This is kind of what I do mostly for communication. And these are just little quick apps that I like to get into. Um, browser, Gmail, Play Store, Dolphin, Cloud Magic, Play Music, and Waze. Waze is a GPS application that has community-based feedback while driving. So if there's a police hiding somewhere, someone can tag the cop car. And when you get in that area, it'll say, hey, there's a cop car in your area. So that's really cool. And... Uh, yeah, that, that's it for the main home screen. Now, if I put my finger right here, my screen kind of vibrates. I know you can't feel it, but 
when I click right here and flick my finger over, thumb, sorry, finger, thumb, whatever. If I flick my thumb over, it brings over this thing right here. And this thing allows you to put recent, recent apps, start apps, and also just your whole app drawer all here. And it works really, really well, and I really do enjoy this. And I use this a lot. Uh, I use this over the Cube Launcher any day. It's quicker, it's more efficient, and I can use this in any application without any type of slowdown. So this is what I like. Um, the name of the application, I keep forgetting the name of the application. I don't know why, but the name of the application is Swaps, S-W-A-P-P-S. And uh, you can pick it up in the market, and it is free, my favorite price. All right, so now that I cover basically my home screen, um, I, like I said before, I'm running Paranoid Android as my ROM. And it is a great ROM, and, and I do thoroughly enjoy it for a few reasons. If you see here, my, my icons look to be a little bit smaller than normal. Uh, you can adjust your DPIs on the fly and per application. So let me show you an example. Wow, I got a lot of stuff going on. It's awesome. I feel so loved right now. Usually no one messages me at all. So this is really awesome. So anyways, um, we're going to go into our settings here. Okay. So the first thing you see is that I have kind of a dual panel right here. Uh, this is really seen mostly on tablets. But uh, with Paranoid Android, it actually sets up a lot of these screens to, to dual panel which you can always adjust and turn off and turn back on and things like that. So that's not, that's not a big deal. But it has these little settings right here. And these settings allow you to make these tweaks. So Paranoid Android settings, this shows you all the settings you can set. You can say, hey, I want the stock UI, phablet, which is like a Nexus 7, tablet UIs for different resolutions of screen. When you go to PA Colors, this is how the bars, um, the notification bar and your navigation bar will actually change depending on the application you're in to kind of match the color. It's actually really cool, I'm gonna show you guys. So for example, it says Google Play Store is gonna run these certain colors. And these are just colors that are already built into it. Um, you just have to activate it. And you can always adjust the colors, obviously. So I'm gonna launch the Google Play Store. And look, see, the, the bar actually changed the color as I suggested. It just changed the color, and it's just kind of it's kind of cool. Uh, you know, a lot of applications have the same colors. It's really it's really nice to see, in my opinion. It's it's not you know anything that's like ooh wow. We have different settings in here. We can do change the interface, which we're just at. You can do certain apps. So let's go into apps, and then let's select an app. So let's go in here and say you know what, Google Talk. So right now I have this Google Talk set up to look like a 360 screen, which is the standard for cell phones where it has, well, let me show you what it looks like actually. So it looks like this, you know, full buddy list right here. You click a conversation and go into the actual, you know, conversation. That, that's it. So, um, but I do have a full screen on here. If you see, there's no navigation bar at the bottom. There's no notification at the top. You slide your thumb up here, which brings a cube effect. Okay, and this cube effect allows you to go into your uh, notifications, allows you to go home, back, and everything. So this is really cool that I like to have on full screen. So you can go, boom, right back home. And then it actually goes back to how it was normally. So Paranoid Android essentially allows you to do these special things to your ROM and different things to your applications. Let me just make one quick adjustment here. I'm going to change this to 720p. And also we're going to turn off the expand off. And we're going to apply it. And then we're going to launch it. All right. So, so now you actually see where it looks like it's two panes now. It, it's, it's different. And that was just me flicking a switch and changing a setting. So all the applications are like that. You can just go in here, change a setting, save it, and go back out, and the application looks totally different. And, you know, just have fun with it. Go into your favorite application, make some adjustments if you want to see more information or less information, and go for it. I love options. I love options. And Paranoid Android gives you the most options, in my opinion. So this is why I am using Paranoid Android as my ROM. So remember a while ago I said I'm going to talk about the T9 search application? Well, this is it right here. Um, I made the icon look like a little question mark with a little glass beneath it. But what it does is it brings up this little phone pad. Kind of like what you expect on the old school phones that actually had numbers on there. 
little foam pad. And what you can do is you can dial in the name of the application, T9 style. Now, if you're a young kid, you may not know what T9 is, but T9 is the, the texting method of the old uh, flip phones where you just tap the number and it starts predicting what you're gonna say. So, for example, let's say I wanna get into uh, Google Play. So I just type in play, P-L-A-Y. Play Store pops up right now. So it's really like that. It's, it's the fastest way to get to any application that you're looking for. Browser. Whoa. Nope. Chubby fancy. Browser. Browser pops up right there. So it's, like I said, it's just a really nice application. I combine that with swap. So I go here, then app dialer, and then dial in my apps that I want to get into. I mean, it's really simple. It's fast. And I, I'm always down to make everything go fast as possible and then look good second. That, that's just kind of the way I am. I, I really like to get into my phone, get what I need, and then be able to get back off my phone really quick. Um, oh, yeah, the one last thing. The wallpaper is a free wallpaper. And with the Nexus 4, it does not slow down at, at all. It does not lag my phone at all. And I'm still getting about 16 hours of battery life. Live wallpaper. Dilix. Dit, Ditilix. Ditilix. And there's many wallpapers in here. You can adjust the settings and kind of play around. But when I move my thumb around, it follows my thumb. And there's so many settings in here. This probably deserves its own video, to be honest. Um, but this wallpaper is free. They have different themes that cost money, but they're reasonably priced. And I recommend checking this application out. Um, if you want a cool wallpaper, you can change it from squares to hearts to little triangles or, you know, question marks or whatever you want. Zodiac signs. Yeah, that's, a paid, that's a paid one. But, I mean... Like I said, it's really cool wallpaper. Add some some movement, some life to your background. And that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if I get enough likes and enough views, I will do a full write-up and a full video on how to set this up. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I, I have no problem helping everyone out. No child or YouTuber left behind. And that's the method I believe in. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Once again, my name is Kevin, a.k.a. The Tech Ninja, and I'm checking out. God bless and good night.